Hey everyone. Today we're going to look over the bill of materials for the final expansion three cartridge kit for the Commodore VIC-20. I got these um, instructions, including the bill of materials, off of the Lemon64.com website and their forum, which is where they're posted. They didn't come with instructions in the box. So let's look at these uh, items. We've got two different stickers you can choose from for the cartridge case. Uh, one of them, it, this is designed for the case that they sell, I think, which has sort of great big nacelles popping out of the top, kind of makes it look like the back end of a spaceship or something. And this one is uh, what you would use for a, a more traditional cartridge where you just cut a little plastic out of the top to fit the serial connectors. So this is the cartridge that I'm sacrificing. It's a uh, mole attack, which is kind of like whack-a-mole. So I figured, hmm, that's not a bad cartridge to sacrifice. It's not, I didn't really enjoy that game very much. And now, what else have we got here? Uh, we have some electronic parts, some capacitors and some resistors, some serial port connectors and a connector for the for the button battery and for the SD card. And then in here in this anti-static bag we have the different integrated circuits and sockets and things like that. And uh, including a little bank of dip switches. And finally we have the card itself. Pretty cool looking card. Here, take a look at that to see if you can see that better. On the other side. Okay, so that's cool. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back now. I just went through all this fill of materials. It took me about 10 minutes. Some of the parts are so small that there's no markings on them. In particular, there are a couple of teeny weeny little surface mount capacitors. They're so small that they come in this little cardboard thing. <laughs> and when I saw it first, I thought, what is that? And then there's a, actually, coincidentally, in the same place, there's a little crystal here that doesn't have any markings. And I thought it was missing at first. I didn't, didn't know what that was. So here it is. Uh, all the parts are here. Uh, most of them are just simple, you know, through hole parts that you solder on. There are five surface mount parts and some of them are incredibly small. And so this will be my first time ever building something that has surface mount parts. So I went online and I looked at some tutorials. I wanted to make sure that I understood how to do this. So I'm fairly confident that I won't have any problems with it. Um, so it looks like everything's here, which is great because I, I didn't want to have to uh, contact the seller and say, oh, you're missing something. It looks like it's all here. And uh, before I actually build this, I'm going to go look at some photographs uh, online of some finished ones um, and make sure that I understand where everything goes. Uh, there are some parts in this list that don't have good contrast and you can barely read them and you need a very bright light to read the markings on the part and make sure that you really have the right one. But it all looks in order here. So my next video will be actually beginning to solder some things on and I'll demonstrate how I do that. So until then, catch you later. Okay, so I thought I'd give a presentation of the parts uh, specifically. So here's what's included, right? Here are the stickers. You can use one or the other, it's your choice, depending on the style of case. Here are some capacitors. The blue capacitors are really hard to read without a bright light source, so. Um, I actually walked over to the window and used daylight uh, here's the circuit board. Here um, is the SD card slot, and here's a really tiny crystal. And here are a couple of very small surface mount capacitors. Yes, these two little dots there, those are capacitors that I have to solder to the board. 
Here's some diodes. These are light emitting diodes, red and green, and these are non light emitting diodes. There's four different kinds of resistors. Here are some integrated circuits on a static uh, protection pad. So, uh, memory, um, uh, a PLA, I think, a um, bunch of sockets. couple of serial port connectors. I think that's a time a timer chip. This is a um, button battery clip. And here's a, a header, um, another crystal, a couple of clicky buttons. And this, I'm not really sure. I, I'm not going to open that right now. I'm afraid I'll, it'll fall out and I'll lose it. don't remember what that is. All right, so just so that you can see in some detail what this comes with, and it does seem to all be here, okay?